good kitten internet. See? Mm. You're a very good kitten. I wasn't even ready to start playing yet, but I how could I resist with this cute, very cute kitty cat? Uh, is this actually the right setting? Nope. That's not the right setting. This is the right setting. Okay. Uh, let's um, six it up. There we go. Aww. So where did we leave off? Do, 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 do. Right, we had just finished Alamos. All right. Um. Okay, there actually is audio playing. I don't want to get my headphones because then Zun Kitty over here might actually move. So, um. Yep, we are again in this place. Also, my reputation went down again. I don't know why, because there are no friendlies here. Anyway, so, um, we just finished Alamos. Uh, what do I want to do next? And technically, we don't need to be here anymore. There is no further need for this zone at all. So, let's go to Hermit's Isle. Sunrise? Sunrise, okay. Uh, maybe time is progressing and I'm losing more reputation due to that. So, once more, we're going, oh right, I wanted to set up a little timer thing so I can show you just how long it takes me to do the fast versions of these. Um, let's go to here. You'll notice that we have sea monsters. That's the third anime type here. But what we're really going after is down here, which is Hermit's Isle. Even though the entire zone is called Hermit's Isle, this is actually Hermit's Isle. And I will come back and kill the Titans later. So this is where we want to go. The Supreme Temple of Ba, my friend. The temperature rises as you steadily, excuse me, the temperature rises, I can't speak today. This kitty cat's taking up all of my ability to speak. That's okay, he's cute, he makes up for it. The temperature rises steadily as you approach the doors. The smell of sulfur and ash strong. This place resembles a hideout more than a temple. So, this is the Temple of Ba. We're gonna do this the fast way first. Fast way is very silly. Ready? Oop, that was not the right one. I know that there's a really simple way of doing this. I just never remember exactly where I'm supposed to do because I only have to do this once per game. There it is. Move out of the way, devils. I'm literally floating in air on top of a devil. It's great. Done. So, now you see the three types of enemies in here. Oh, my inventory's still full, isn't it? Ugh. Well, this is gonna be a problem. As good as new. Um, what's the least valuable thing I have that I can drop off? That's probably some of these staves. Let's drop the shoes for now. These staves are freaking worthless. Then rearrange things slightly. You know what? You also go away. Okay. By the way, there's Slicker Silver Tongue. I, I just decided to take a shortcut and get rid of. Eh, or just kind of skip over the entire dungeon. Let's kill Slicker, at least. There we go. This is a very fire heavy dungeon, if you haven't figured out. I have stuff broken all over the place. 
keep forgetting that repairing things exist. All right, nothing I care about is broken still, sweet. Really, the Ba here are really simple at this point. The main problems are these and the devils, I guess, but it's mostly those. Um, oh, they're immune to magic. Dark Containment's gonna do Jack and Squat, I think. Well, I instantly killed her by doing 600 damage. Yep. I mean, I could have just ran away at that point, but anyway, we're going to go back and do this again. This time for reals. Um, anyway, also, before I have an accident again, let's get rid of some of these useless staves. I mean, they are truly useless. You can actually see them disappear on the minimap. They're not disappearing, huh? Usually they disappear due to lava. But okay. Do I even actually need? Oh, zone's moving. No, no, I actually don't need. Oop, too far. Ah, cat, I'm. Ah, cat, I have my tablet in my lap and. Ah, Zone is not the most graceful of kitties, to put it mildly, so when he gets off of my lap, well, I stop having any control over what's on my lap. So, let's actually do this. I was just so desperate for wanting the Zone Kitty to be all cute on my lap, and I end up wasting a bunch of time. Oh well. Such is the way of life. Such is the way of kitties. Anyway. Oh, I just clicked through the wall. That's even better. So let's kill Slicker. Okay. That was my whole objective. Bounce back to New Serpical. Because, of course, I'm going to go to New Serpical for healing. It's the best place in the game to heal. Although, for irony, I could have actually gone to a Temple of Ba. That would have been kind of silly. Totally doable. So what I meant to do between adventures was actually head back over Dragon Sand and go loot some bodies. I have looted some, but obviously not all of them. Anyway, recall, Scream Temple of Ba. I love how they can't see me because I just arrived. Hi. Oh yeah, how am I doing on six hours on that? That should be fine. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and take care of the devils. These devils aren't too bad. They only cast Fireball, if I remember right. Or does one of them cast Incinerate? Yep, one of them does cast Incinerate. Okay. Everything here is immune to fire, except for the priests. And everything here is immune to magic, except for the priests. Really, again, the priests are the easy thing in here now. Remember when priests were difficult? Remember when they were difficult? So... I'm not wearing any funny designs on my shirt today, so I'm not going to bother showing off the shirt. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt because that's kind of what I felt like. Hello, giant number of fire elementals. So what I'm trying to do is getting away from all those damn fire elementals because I hate the wrong ring. I hate them. I hate them lots. I actually don't care if I'm dealing with these types of creatures. They're easy by comparison. 
Devils are just kind of easy in general. They're not meant to be hard. They're just meant to swarm you. Nice boots. The problem is that I still have no inventory space. <sighs> well, on the plus side... Die already. On the plus side, I can now go back to New Circle to sell things. I couldn't do that before. That's the reason why I didn't sell right now. Going double speed because, well, fighting's boring. Are you kidding me? Nothing I can do. You can just. All right. That's actually a really nice dagger. Running this at double speed while in real time mode is probably not the greatest of ideas. There we go. So, I am totally doing this dungeon backwards. What I should probably do is go back to the start and actually do this forwards. And I probably will. I just want to finish up this section here. Oops. All right. Uh. Uh. While it's actually fairly nice, I don't have the inventory space to pick it up anyway. And I want to try an experiment. I want to see if that disappears. Oh, hello, fire elementals. All right, what'd you break this time? No, not a ring of protection. That's actually a useful item. Okay, so. Uh, it is April 23rd. Say it's a lower left hand one that's supposed to have a blue thing. Let's find out if that remains. First off, uh, time is just about time for things to open. No, wait, no, they open at six, not seven, don't they? Yeah. These inventories are so disorganized. I really need to get better at keeping them organized. Also, there's very little armor in general in this case. That's armor. That's enchant paint. That's armor. You know what? It's staying on the ground for now. Ah, oh, that's good armor. You have regenerate hit points already, don't you? Yeah. So your belts are technically better. Belts. Boots! Words are hard! Gauntlet check. Mm, yeah, I think I'll keep that one still. Ah, uh, that cell bait. That cell bait. That cell bait. sell some weapons and in order to sell weapons we need to enchant them yes. so I need to make sure I maintain my money otherwise bad things will start happening real fast I'm going to enchant weapons first ah, so how are you Horribly disorganized inventory. So, I've had a bit of a day. 
Today is my doctor's appointment day, so I had appointment with the mental therapist. Uh, appointment with my phys uh, my primary is tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Thursday. Tomorrow is election day because today's Monday for me. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna vote first thing in the morning because votification is important, and I get election day baked goods. That always helps. Right, that was the reason why I wasn't filling up the bottom. Okay, let's just move everything off to the side. Because I know I've got... That was Doom, okay. Poison, Might and Endurance. We need to go over there anyway. Crappy, crappy, crappy. That's cell bait, but I don't have space for it. Um, yeah, there we go. No, I'm looking for you to take off all of these weapons. Take off every weapon for great justice. Now pick these up and start enchanting some more. Um, All right. That's already into. Look at how little money I get for antiquing that. Ugh. Um, that weapon is better than this. Two D three. So I lose one to hit. Actually, it does less regular damage also, but it also adds ten to twenty fire, whereas that adds three to eighteen. So this is definitely better, although not in the dungeon I'm currently in, but that's fine. Go like that. Um, other weapons, that's enchant bait. That's going to be cell bait. Once I ever end up. Um, going to an open item shop. All right, pole axes aren't actually good enough to enchant. Forgot they're two. Ooh, that was bad. They're two twenty-five. They're not two fifty. That's already enchanted. Nothing I can do. As good as new. Uh, like that. Like that. That's enchantable. That's not even enchantable, and it's already enchanted. Um, find a spot. <laughs> That's enchantable. That's enchantable. This is definitely enchant. This is enchantable. This is enchantable. Rest that cell bait. That's cell bait, that's cell bait. Not that I have inventory space. That's cell bait. Honestly, Kronos is cell bait at this point, but I'm holding on to it anyway for reasons that I don't understand. Um, what else do I have? That's a potion. That's enchantable. That's about it for now. I don't even have space for those. Okay. Sell so, weapons again. That's all the weapons I've got. I can enchant a couple more items to sell. All right. Endurance 12, I'm pretty certain. Yeah, nothing I enchant is going to be better than what I have for those, or that, or that. Yeah, these are still enchant. Oh, I forgot to enchant the shield. Yeah. So basically, I'm at the point in the game where I'm enchanting for money, I'm not enchanting for items. 
Unless if I can enchant of power. I swear I've seen it happen before, but of power is such a rare enchantment to begin with that I could be mistaken on my memory. It could be possible, just extremely unlikely. I don't actually know. You know what? I am never going to use Kronos at this point. Goodbye, Relic. Bye. It's gone forever now. I mean, technically, you can always get a second enchanted Relic, but just assume it's gone forever. All right, I need to start reducing these. I need none of this. problem with trying to do this rapidly is that I end up clicking on the thing I'm dropping. I technically don't even need to click a bot anymore. I have Crazy Cat Hour who's commencing. Got some decks of faint. Those keys are worthless. I'm keeping the flute even though it does nothing. Other than that, it's a running joke. Crystal Skull, and a Horseshoe. There we go. That would bother me. There. Uh, uh, yeah. That's all right. Eh, let's also have my that is cellbate. And that's cellbate. That is not cellbate. I will make room for it. Okay. That I'll have to do. I have way too much crap to sell at this point. Um Got a half an hour before the shop opens back up. I think I am going to wait the half an hour. But I'm going to wait the half an hour via going to Dragon Sand and looting more corpses. Get all the pretty dargons. All the pretty dargons. Hmm. I have curiosity. Are we getting it? It did do damage. Not much. Man, I wish enemies had falling damage. It's not worth Armageddoning. Hard shield of the gods. Staff of the garbage. And. Two-handed sword of the garbage. Ace, chainmail, helm. Ace, enchant bait, helm, and chainmail. Yeah, no. Just trying to get useful things that hard to find useful stuff nowadays. Wand, longbow, trident. This is going to be garbage. Hey, look, I'm right. Yes, yeah, Zone, what are you chasing today? See, I actually have a bookcase right up here, and Zone always likes sitting there to stare at me. Unfortunately, he's less than graceful at actually getting down. So he will probably end up hitting me trying to fall down. That's also where he was knocking bottles down before. So I just want to make sure that I get useful things out of this group of three. Just one thing useful. Enchant bait. Those boots are actually fairly nice, although... Yours is the only one that would be that great, and not even then, sad. Boots are going to be the hardest thing for me to upgrade at this point. 
Really, boots of hit points are about all I can use. Armor of hit points. That is better than that, isn't it? Four hit points and I lose 10 AC. Okay, it's not better. Okay, another armor of intellect. Enchanted Axe. Increases effect to fire magic, which would be nice if it weren't for the fact that that's one of the magic skills I actually have on everybody now. Or boosted on everybody, I should say. Book of Learning, Ring, Gauntlets. Book of Learning is useless. Ring is nice. Gauntlets is not nice. I will keep it because the ring is at least useful. 16 hit points could be useful for pretty much anybody. Okay. Are, is your personality rings actually useful? Not that one. Not that one. But both of them are. Okay. So I'll let you keep the higher one. Instead, get some hit points. And that becomes Selvate. There we go. Now we have spent some time doing something useful. Hooray! Hip, hip, huzzah! Hup, hup, huzzah! Also leather armor of extremely high AC. I think I need to give it to him. Because really, AC is kind of useful and he had one of the lowest. Okay, that's as much as I'm going to do over here right now. I have in fact wasted enough time, almost. So let's go ahead and go to Freehaven and drop this thing off, this thing being the crystal. So, um, Candace had a question as to why I haven't explored this area. There is nothing to this place other than where you drop off the crystals. I'm serious, there's nothing else here. There's no particular order. This, there's a couple of times where there's a little bit of money behind this or really crappy clubs. So I didn't bother exploring. I will right now though, because I'm trying to waste time anyway. Oh, actually, I've actually wasted enough, but another club. And I think the last one might've had a very small amount of money. It might be random is what's actually behind there. Nope, a useless staff. That's it. That's the entire dungeon. I don't know why I'm even walking back. Um, tab portal, new serpical, and let's finally sell some of this garbage. Also, let's enchant what I have. It is very unlikely I will enchant anything useful. My suspicion is correct. All of that stuff needs to go. Everything must go. Am I gonna break two million? I don't think I will right now. I'm getting closer than I thought I would, but no, I'm not breaking two million. Okay, now that I actually have an empty inventory and nearly two million gold pieces, um, also, how am I doing on experience? Uh, up to level 71. I'm leveling up 11 times the next time I level. So there's a tradition that I have is that I don't level while doing the crystal quests. That's actually normal for me, by the way. This isn't just me trying to optimize the game. I normally save all of the experience I receive from the crystal quests and from the control cube quest to dump everything into ancient weapon skill. I'm not doing that this time. I'm barely even going to use ancient weapons at this point. So this will be slightly different than my normal run. Um, Lights Beacon, Recall, Supreme Temple of Ba. Okay. Oh, right. I actually wanted to go from the entrance. Whoops. My mistake. Let's head back to New Sorpical and just recast some spells. Bum, 
Which means recall Hermit's Isle. I remember Hermit's Isle all too well. Yeah, there's really nothing else in Hermit's Isle, by the way. There's some treasure chests and so on, but we will clear out Hermit's Isle later. I mean, we need to kill, clear out Dragon Sand first. And I'm not going to completely clear out Dragon Sand yet. I want to show you what ancient weapons do before I do that. And it's best to demonstrate that on, well, dragons. They're canonically used against dragons, so. There we go. This is just too easy. Also, um, yep, that item, uh, the sword that we picked up is gone. Ah, great, even more crystals, great. That, that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, I don't care. So you're, if you're wondering why the items in here are so crappy, other than I finally get some roots, It's because, where is that at? I thought it was over here. Might be the other side. There's a teleporter that goes back. Yep, here's the teleporter. I'm just gonna show you. Let's get out of here. Teleporter goes back to the sewers. Remember for a while we actually saw something that was be hidden behind a door in the sewers? Guess what? We now have a direct route from Freehaven sewers back to Cat. He stepped on my mouse. Back to the Temple of Ba. So we no longer ever need to travel again to Hermit's Isle, which is good because Hermit's Isle is garbage. And I hate it. The waypoint, that is. All right, so what we're going to do is deal with this problem. Light. And everybody's favorite, Inferno! I'll just kill them. <laughs> I don't even know why I bothered wasting magic. Oh, I do know why I bothered wasting magic. It's because I need to use magic to regenerate magic, right? Did I actually get a ring? They're almost useful items. Almost. So, yeah. This is the Supreme Temple of Ba. This is not a puzzle dungeon. Um, the only puzzle is the uh, bridges across the lava and figuring out which ones to pull. You can literally just watch. Also, gongs. You like gongs, right? Everybody likes gongs. Altar of Cold. Trial by Cold. Altar of Fire. Trial by Fire. Altar of Pain. Yeah. Anyway, we are picking up gongs because I can. Um, the altars do special things. It's just not those, if I remember right. Everything here is trapped. Also, not very good items. It's probably not even worth me looting anything in here, to be honest. But old habits die hard and all that. Hey, look, there's a door there with a bunch of things that are crawling around. But... Traditions require me to make sure that I deal with everything in open rooms first. Altar at Shrine of Air. Yeah. So what it is, is that um, some of the shrines give a benefit, some of the shrines give a penalty. Actually, I 
thing. I can be far enough. Telekinesis, that's... Yep. Hey, look, it's money. Not useful, but it's money. I need to remember I have that four point. Oh, north is where I was going, not south. And it's another open room with a bunch of ball in it! And devils. Hey, you think the Ba and Devils are related in some way? No. Can't possibly be related. Man, I'm not used to actually having master level perception. So this is a little weird to me. Being able to get all of the crystals. It's at least enchantable. Shrine of Earth. I think that's a positive one for magic, but resistance ah, you need magic resistance the most gong it's actually worth mine anyway you'll notice that she's dodging everything that's because when you have master perception you stop being affected by traps the one advantage for perception and the one reason why you might consider throwing perception on your characters because then you never have to care about disarm trap or you can just use telekinesis like I do and only occasionally care about disarm trap. Do, 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 do. Yeah, these rooms are not difficult. This dungeon is not difficult. Shrine of water, so that is cold resistance. You have the worst cold resistance, also gong. And we have just about looped back to where we started. This is not a long dungeon. This is the shortest one of them. Uh, I saw something break. Oops. Your armor broke. Yeah, you're going to repair that. Oops. So even though the um, Oops. explosive effect arrows look like it's fire, it's not actually fire. It actually does an area of effect. Uh, yeah, that's the one that damages. It actually does an area of effect attack of melee type, as strange as that sounds. But yeah, you hit those, and hey, look. These paths slide open and closed. I know, this is a huge difficult puzzle that is impossible to figure out completely and totally impossible you can't possibly figure out how this works also would you break it's fixed. not my accuracy 25 and you couldn't telekinesis this at all and you couldn't possibly get over to here to actually get back to where the orb is. I told you, this is a really easy dungeon. At least in comparison to the others that we've been dealing with. There's nothing in this corner. It's just here for purposes of finishing up in case if you mess up and need to go back. Which we're going back because I'm gonna clear the rest of this dungeon. I'm hoping the fire elementals finally follow me, but they're not going to. They never do. All right, so we're going to finish clearing the dungeon. We've actually already hit condition green in a couple of areas, which is just, uh, this dungeon is so easy. Really don't understand why this is an end game dungeon. I'm pretty sure this, I believe the way they, the game wants you to do these is, um, wrong one. Alpha, beta, then delta, then epsilon. That's a horrible mistake, by the way. Alpha is definitely the easiest. The second easiest is debatable between beta and epsilon. Uh, depends on your party style. Um, beta is a little bit easier for melee characters. Uh, epsilon is a little bit easier for magic characters. And delta is an utter nightmare for magic characters and not exactly easy for melee characters either. So, I don't get it. Don't care, let's kill stuff. Hi. Bye. Although so my party might be a little overpowered for this place. 
And I'm absolutely overpowered for this place for reference. Hidden doors. However, the loot in here is kind of crappy. No, no, it will not be. It's cell bait. And not even good cell bait. Anyway, these little passages will have you go across to various areas. What it's useful for is actually getting you into the damn height range for the fire elementals. I don't know if I can actually hit with him. I can. That's good to know. And I think they're immune to magic. Yeah. Why do I even try? There, got one of them. You, I can kill with arrows. I'm not as concerned about the fire spirit as I am the fire elementals. The rest of them are beneath me. Literally, not figuratively. Right. Hey, look, here's a chest in this room. It's totally not trapped, we swear. Notice I can't click on it. I think this is... No, nope, I was just misclicking. Yep, that's the trap. Hi, everybody. I care more about the elementals than I do about the devils. And yes, I know somebody broke something. I believe she's the one that broke something? No, he is. Fire, ring of fire resistance, that would have actually been handy. Also, I can get better rings than that. Just double checking to make sure nothing is broken. So there's nothing there. Yeah, you don't want to fall in here, by the way. It's bad. Hey, look, it's a food store area. So the reason why they have those food sacks is not for your benefit. Oh, it is actually. It's more the reason for the food sacks are specifically so you can rest inside the dungeon. Because for some reason, they think that you're ever going to rest inside of these dungeons. And you're not high enough level to just use Town Portal and Lloyd's Beacon everywhere. I I really don't understand. You are definite, and I am not above average level for this place. Maybe not. Uh, I might be by a slight amount at this point, but it'd be a very slight amount. Oops. You've got a bow hidden back there. It's a common longbow. Oops. Something about this bed? Ah. That's actually enchant bait. Okay. Thank you, Perception. Oops. Nothing back there. Nothing even in that room. Oops. Okay, and my Day of Protection wore out? Wow. That's probably the most important spell I have in here because everything's using magic attacks. I mean everything. Uh, I missed the spot. I'm gonna go deal with that spot first. Oops. There we go. How do they cram so many of them into a room with two beds? They must be really comfortable with each other. I mean, I, yep. There were six people in this room. Those are definitely single beds. Assuming that they're all having threesomes, that's a pair of threesomes, I still don't think they'd be able to fit. 
just not right, Bah. You should spring for more room for your priests. That way they have some privacy, too. Maybe they won't be as repressed. I don't know. Are they just like under the bridge or something? Or are they actually wandering the floor? Same remember, they're not um, affected by lava like I am. Because of course the game's gonna cheat on that. Why wouldn't they? I have almost completed this place. That's what I was looking for. I don't think there was anything else here. So we've got a couple of rooms over here that I apparently didn't empty. Or it followed me, one of the two. Followed me home, mommy, can I keep it? Okay, seriously, I'm gonna figure out where in the world these enemies are. They are on the damn floor. It's bothering me enough. I will actually deal with this. Uh, spirit, raise dead. You. Oh, you're not on the floor. I see how it is. And I have unfortunately killed everybody that I know and love. So, we've got two devils on the floor. Which, I don't even know. How I'm going to get at. And then one mysterious fire elemental somewhere. I'm not going to worry too much about it. In fact, actually, I can deal with this. I can deal with this really easily. Set beacon. Town portal. Heal up. Then go back in because they'll reset their positions. They probably just fell from bridge moving or something, would be my guess. Um Yeah, let's go ahead and recast that hour of power. Yeah, I know I should have healed first. It's not that big of a deal at this point. Now I might be breaking. And Zone's crying in the basement. Because of course he is. Actually, I think I need to refill his litter box is what it is. I'm almost there. Just one trip to the gong show and I'll be fine. And this time I'm going to actually hit the right one. It's this one right here. Yep. Two million money. Two million gold pieces. Anyway, recall. And now they're actually in their respective areas. Let's see. And last and definitely least. There's still an enemy around. Where in the world did I miss? There. I see it now. It's from the entrance area. Well, I promised that I was going to clear the dungeon. I'm going to clear the dungeon. This is a much shorter one than the previous one. I mean, I'm at 50 minutes right now, and that's because I'm goofing around, not because this is actually taking 50 minutes. Here we go. Because I have not gone this path yet. Even though you're supposed to do this first. These are where the enemies are. Bunch of clerics. You don't even have a bed in this room. Apparently they just sleep standing up. Oops. I am still not in green. 
And there's definitely an area I've missed. Yeah, it's down here. Okay. The door. Miscellaneous torch for no reason. Hi. Even my, even my sorcerers are hitting for 75 plus. Oops. Now I'm in green. I'm in green and there's still doors. This must be like treasure area. With some really crappy treasure. I mean, seriously, there's not even a treasure chest or anything? <sighs> this game... Oh yeah, food! Isn't there something over here? Yeah. Look at the quality of this treasure, it's so bad. Just like everything else here. Okay, now I'm done with the Temple of Ba. Ba! Um, I should probably fill the rest of the episode. I've got like nine minutes left for what I want. Um, I guess I can start prepping uh, Creek Spire area. That's a thing that I can do. Enchanted. Let's sell stuff. Let's sell stuff. Uh, that was supposed to be sold as well. Yeah. Not much to sell. Oh, I'm past closing. I'll keep it. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and recast fly, I guess would be, oh, yeah, fly. Um, yeah, because Day of the Gods is gonna last another day or two. Hell, our power's lasting over a day at this point. Um, day of the Gods is almost at two. That's at a day, yep. Okay. Beacon, recall, Craig Spire. Time's up, let's do this. Now, what I never remember is the actual quick route through Craig Spire. I'm not gonna do that right now. Oh, that's right, I can't do Craig Spire because I'm going to have that be an entire episode. The heck do I do for the next few minutes? Well, when in doubt, kill some dragons. Right, come from up here. Switch my spells around. I like it better when they're all grouped together. It's fixed. Yes, that is still enough personality. Uh -oh. Broke my maze. Five hundred and fifteen points of damage. Ugh. I mean, it's nothing compared to what Shrap Metal's doing to me at this point. If I actually got up close and personal and started hitting with Shrap Metal at 
Uh, so that's 19 plus 9 for the 50 percent higher dark magic so that's 28 plus an additional four for my um spell master so that is 32 ranks of yeah let's just math this out for a moment so that's 32 ranks of dark 32 ranks so each of them are doing six plus 1d6 points of damage so Thirty-two times three point five times seven plus forty-two. So the average amount of damage I do in trap metal is eight hundred and twenty-six points of damage. Maximum amount of damage is seven times thirty-two. Sorry, six times thirty-three times seven. One thousand three hundred eighty-six damage maximum. This is what I'm talking about. It's nuts. Also, does this actually do more damage at this point? 187 is kind of weak. I think a cat may have gotten loose. I'm going to go ahead and go. Bye.